This is verse 3 of the 14th chapter, the Gospel of Matthew. We have the uh, account being provided by Matthew of the uh, affair involving John the Baptist and uh, Herod and his response. Uh, Herod, of course, had heard about Jesus as a miracle worker and uh, in his superstitious outlook had uh, come to the conviction that uh, Jesus must be John the Baptist re returned from the dead and the backstory is provided to some extent uh, for us here. So we have Ho, the uh, article, post positive Gar, so uh, for the Herodes, for Herod, of course. Uh, this is Herod uh, Antipas. Uh, and uh, so Herod Antipas, uh, Kratesos, this is a uh, aorist participle, aorist active participle, masculine singular nominative, so it goes along with. Herod, it's heiress, so it uh, denotes action that's already occurred. So Herod, having taken from krateo to take, uh, are words that use the C-R-A-T uh, suffix democrat or uh, autocrat that uh, derives from this uh, Greek word uh, suggesting power or force. So having taken by force, uh, tone, the definite article, Ioannin, John, having taken John, uh, edesen, from deo, means to uh, uh, bind, so he bound him. This is, of course, the uh, third person singular, aorist active indicative, so he bound. Um, some manuscripts, of course, include outone, bound him. Um, he grabbed him, he bound him, kai, uh, in fulake. Uh, this is from the word for prison, uh, in a prison, locked him in a prison. Uh, Makarus was the location we learned from other sources. Uh, a little bit out of the way there. Uh, bound him in prison. Uh, this is uh, apetheto, apotithemi uh, is the underlying word here. Uh, Tithemi means to place or to put. Uh, the apo gives a little additional emphasis to it. So placed him or put him or assigned him. Uh, into prison uh, is the idea dia with the accusative uh, Herodiada this is Herodias translated in the New Testament the wife so it's the wife of Antipas uh, Tain Gunaika the wife of him so on account of the wife uh, Herodias he bound him and put him in prison uh, because uh, or related to uh, Philippu uh, Matthew is actually saying it was the wife of Philip. This is the genitive here. Philip was, uh, uh, there were actually two sons from Herod apparently. They were both named Philip. They were born of different women. Uh, so this was one born of Mariamne, his uh, first wife or an earlier wife. Uh, the second Philip was born of uh, uh, Cleopatra of Jerusalem. Uh, and uh, that is the Philip who ruled uh, in Perea up to the north. But this is a Philip that actually lived in Jerusalem or in uh, Rome, and uh, it was while in Rome that uh, basically this Herod Antipas was able to uh, entice her away from her husband, uh, an act that was uh, uh, condemned by uh, John the Baptist. So uh, that's what John is, or what Matthew is saying here, that uh, Herod, having taken John, bound him and cast him, put him into prison on account of Herodias the wife of his brother Philip uh, to Adolfu, genitive on behalf of the brother of him. He had done it um, because of that, because of course John the Baptist had publicly condemned this as an illegitimate marriage and that got him into some political hot water and so uh, Matthew simply giving us something of the uh, underlying story here that accounts for the fact that uh, John the Baptist was eventually beheaded, and uh, it's out of that, of course, that this superstitious fear arose that uh, Jesus was John the Baptist that had come back essentially to haunt Herod Antipas.